Hey guys, it's Jay Bear with another Jay Today, where I give you a piece of my mind three minutes at a time back home in Indiana, global headquarters of Convince and Convert. Here's what I found out today. Here's what I found out today. Weird Al Yankovic has the number one album in this country. Weird Al is number one. I think it's his 14th studio album, I believe that's correct. And finally, he has climbed the ladder, and he is number one. Now that, to me, is remarkable. Because he's been doing this for 20 or 30 years, and has never sniffed number one. So what has changed? Well, I think three things have changed that we can learn from. First, as you may know, uh, Weird Al released his album One Song in a Day, one song per day, and then had a video every single day to accompany each song. A daily video, like Jay Today, but with music attached and higher production values. So the fact that he was embracing video in a way that he hasn't historically, I think is a really important trend and one that we can all learn from. Every time I think that video consumption can't get higher in this country, it gets higher still. Video, a key, key component. Second is that Weird Al is by definition absurdist. And if there's one thing that really works uh, on the interwebs right now, it is absurdity. You see the memes, uh, you see the silliness, you see the craziness. Absurdity really works. We're just sort of in an absurdist phase, I think, in popular culture. Uh, you never see a meme of a white paper, right? You only see memes of kind of absurd, funny, silly things. And certainly if there's anything um, that Weird Al is, it is absurd. And so sort of his shtick uh, has kind of come back around to popularity. It's like sometimes, you know, uh, fat ties are in and sometimes skinny ties are in, which is why you should never throw away ties, ladies and gentlemen, because eventually they will be back in style. And the third thing, and perhaps most importantly, is that he did release his content one piece at a time. It wasn't like the album is out on Tuesday. It was a song on Monday, a song on Tuesday, a song on Wednesday, a song on Thursday. And of course, we call that atomizing your content, taking a big idea and breaking it up into a bunch of small executions, which gives you that much more chum in the information and attention waters. Three things you can learn from Weird Al. Video, absurdity, and atomizing your content. Nice job, Weird Al. Congrats. Today's Sprout Social shout-out is to my friend Shep Hyken. Shep is the incoming president of the National Speakers Association and a terrific uh, expert, author, speaker on all things customer service. You will learn a lot about customer service best, best practices from Shep Hyken, so make sure you follow him uh, on Twitter, on his website, on his blog, and other places. We'll make sure to link that up. It's at Hyken. H-Y-K-E-N. As you know, the Jay Today Show is brought to you by the good people at Sprout Social, a fantastic social media marketing platform, what I use for my own social media. And this show is brought to you by Candidio, a terrific video editing service. I just record these right on my iPhone. I upload them to Candidio, and they make them look beautiful. They do all the rest. Until tomorrow, I'm Jay Bear. This has been Jay Today. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm Jay Bear. I want to introduce you to my brand new show, Jay Today, where I will be talking about social media and business on an almost daily basis. Real quick videos, very easy, snackable, bite size, as they say. You can get it on YouTube. You can get it on iTunes. You can get it on Stitcher. You can get some great ideas right here. Want to subscribe? I think you do. All you got to do is click one of these buttons. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow.